We all get so busy in our daily lives, it's really difficult to find the time to cook and eat with our families. Food Network star Jamie Dean, who is the son of celebrity Paula Dean and author of Jamie Dean's Good Food, is here to talk about why this is so important. It's so good to see you. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. First, we'll get the elephant out of the room. Your mom, how's she doing? Mama elephant? <laughs> <laughs> of hey, course she's been, not. she's been called worse. No, she had a rough summer, and she's yeah. come back into the public eye again. Yeah. How's she doing? Well, she never really left the public eye. People say, oh, Paul, you're back. She never went away. It's a, you know, being a, in the media business, it's a tough thing, you know, when people can take shots at you. And my mother's not a liar. She didn't raise a liar, and I can tell you that the things said about my mother weren't true. So, you know, we've grown together tighter as a family, and we go forward, and we just try to do good things, and always have. Yeah. That's great. Let's talk about uh, your book specifically. Yeah. Uh, a big theme is cooking together, eating together. How yeah. important is this? Well, it's all about family. You know, you have two young children. I don't know if you have I have kids. one, yeah. But my son, Jack, who is seven, and my son, Matthew, is two. So much time. You have to eat. So it's really important for parents to impress upon their kids at a, at a young age healthy eating because you get into a nugget rut or you know <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's tough now. you know and and I, I don't have all the answers this is just things that I've learned Brooke and I when my son Jack went from baby food to table food things that we could prepare for him that would satisfy us because time is so precious there you know who has time to yeah. cook two dinners but it's for everybody it's a, a fresh honest food and it's my first solo effort and I'm really super proud of it so it's, how do you get your children in the kitchen involved do you give them little jobs that they can do yeah you know it, it started for me making breakfast when I was a young, young boy, and my mother brought me in, and my, my boys have started with the French toast and the scrambled eggs. Jack loves to bake. He loves to decorate cups, cupcakes and cakes. But, you know, we're a cooking family, obviously. He's been around this a long time. So it was just natural for him to want to get in the kitchen and kind of figure out what's going on. And I invited him to come in here, and he's back, got the back cover and 18 it's pages. so cool. Yeah, it's yeah. really interesting stuff. Well, he has his own little section of the yeah. book. Nice. Um, my mother gave me a, a cookbook when I was seven or eight, and it was like the keys to the kitchen for me. And so it was, it, it was so important to me to have something for kids that I thought what a great opportunity for Jack to kind of get out there and I'm just proud of him you know and he just doesn't think it's a big deal but <laughs> for parents you've got recipes that you can get your kids in and there's a lot of life lessons in the kitchen being patient and measuring things and the tip to get kids to eat better and you'll appreciate this being in a nugget rut the more your kids cook the more they touch the food the more they take ownership and pride in it and they'll sense. eat it yeah I've, I've seen that like, first listen, for baked fish uh, I'd put lemon zest on the fish, and I'd always let Jack put his on. So he would put his initial on the fish, and Aww. we would bake it, and it would come See, out. Little stuff and he'd like say, that. that's mine, Daddy. And then he would just eat it, you know, and it's baked fish, which is fantastic for him. So what are you going to be preparing for us here today? This is a really simple, it doesn't take three people to prepare this at the house, I promise you. <laughs> we're, we're lucky today. This is a pasta salad, and this is a great option for y'all with your kids because you get your grains, you've got vegetables, you can add protein to this. We've got dairy. If y'all want to dump in, we've got broccoli and edamame and carrots, which are already in here. How much do I put in? The whole thing. Oh, okay. And Mike yeah. loves cheese, did he tell yeah. you? I didn't tell him. <laughs> you don't like cheese? I love cheese. Do you really? And I'll I, eat the whole thing. I had a, I had a, a friend of mine who kept cheese in his back pocket. Oh, Almost. goodness. He Do I put so the tomatoes in there? My boys. Yep, dump them in. What we've got here is we've got oil and some red wine vinegar and a little bit of sugar to make it sweet. Mm. We're going to add a little bit of mayonnaise. This is what's going to make our dressing kind of coat to our noodles instead of just a plain oil and vinegar, which kind of runs off. Is this recipe in your book? It is. Salt because I'm thinking about making this tonight. <laughs> well, we make it, I make it with pinwheels uh, okay. for Jack, you know, the mm -hmm. wagon wheels. Mm -hmm. But any, any size pasta that your kids like, we were on a big rigatoni mix for a while because <laughs> yeah. Jack would put it on his finger and he would eat it off his That's finger. That's the best. Yeah. And that goes back to what you were talking about, making it fun yeah. and doing it together. So for this, you know, if you want to do grilled chicken or you could buy a rotisserie chicken mm -hmm. and you can pull it and add protein in here, it's delicious. Sometimes I use the ball mozzarella and cut it into cubes because both my boys do love the mozzarella so Ooh, much. Nice. And for parents, you can take this and add it to your plate and then add anything you want. Like I like olives and I put mm -hmm. jalapenos in mine. So this is literally anything that you can imagine that you can throw into your salad. Wow. And it's delicious, good for you, and we're going to serve it on some lettuce, and that's how simple it Look is. Look at that. Look how pretty. It looks delicious. That is beautiful and healthy. Healthier. You know, th this isn't really, uh, it's not definitely not a diet book, but 
the more that you can eat fresh food and take out some of the components that are not really good for you, like we don't fry any food in mm -hmm. my house. Generational changes, you know, are amazing. My grandmother slow cooked green beans for six hours <laughs> and they were yeah. so greasy <laughs> and they were not good for you. <laughs> and so I cook them a different way, but I still share the stories with my sons about grandmother Paul and she fried, boy, chickens feared her. She fried more chicken. <laughs> and we bake a lot of chicken and it's just easier and it's cleaner in your house and it's better for your kids. That's and great. when well, you're doing good things for your kids, it makes you feel better. Thank you so much for stopping by to share it's it with my us. My pleasure. Thank you so the much. The book is called Jamie Dean's Good Food Cooking Up a Storm with Delicious Family Friend Recipes. Thank you so much. Thank y'all.